there you are. I just saw you. Well done. Okay, so I will send you the challenge. Yeah, as we complete our entry. We're so close to completing Kanto, guys. We're so, so close. So, so close. I'm gonna be very happy when we... <clears throat> when we do so. Yeah. Um... CS version art is also nice. What's CS version? And uh, <laughs> right, right. Twenty six, catorce. Huh. Okay, I might need to take this. Sorry about that, guys. Um, that was uh, that was my grandma calling me <laughs> to know if I was going to make it to the um, to the birthday party for my brother that's happening tomorrow. Yeah, so that was that call. Sorry about the interruption. Okay, our starting hand is not very good here. I don't want to aqua patch onto a grim raid. So at least we can ultra ball for artillery and hopefully find an Articuno, which is the main focus of this deck. Yeah. Um, have I have you guys all played Ultra Sun and Moon? I have. And I generally didn't like it. <laughs> I generally didn't like it. And yeah guys, if you wanna come to the birthday party of my brother here in Mexico City, um, <laughs> feel free to do so. Okay, so Malamar Mega Mewtwo. I'm assuming this is Malamar Mega Mewtwo, so this is gonna be a very tough matchup. This is actually gonna be a very tough matchup. Okay, because we top deck the Lele, I'm actually gonna just straight up grab the Articuno, which is the main focus of the deck, and I'm gonna Aqua Patch onto it, as we already have a ton of energy there, and find Ice. You put the energy into your hand. So I'm still missing one energy to be actually able to attack. Um, <laughs> if only Tailman GX could use fly. Okay, so let's do this. Any tournaments this weekend? Um, I don't know if there's any big tournaments this weekend. I don't think so. Um, there's a League Cup, but I'm not going to a League Cup. I am tired. This is the first weekend since since the latin american international championship which was back in april this is the first weekend that i have that i won't be playing pokemon yeah so after i'm done with coaching today after i'm done with the stream and coaching i generally don't want to know anything about pokemon until um until monday right when i have to start working again but before that I generally don't want to know anything about Pokemon. It's it's the first weekend in two months that I won't be playing Pokemon. Yeah, and then next weekend it's NAIC and then it's another big break. Yeah, but I'm actually looking forward to this break right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I played Sun and Moon and then... I played Ultra Sun and Moon and I was like, ugh, this is the same. It was the exact same game, pretty much. I generally didn't enjoy it. I just finished playing it because I wanted to um, to finish it for, um, to start making VGC videos, but okay. So my opponent could have targeted down the Articuno, but he's gonna end, which is very, very nice of him. 
Yeah, exactly. This is the first weekend that I don't have to work. <laughs> it basically comes down to that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the plan, Tama Drummer. That is indeed the plan. So yeah, this is the first weekend that I don't have to work. I've been working nonstop for the past two months. No breaks, no nothing. Every single day there's been something Pokemon related. So Saturday and Sunday no no cards allowed, no no anything allowed. <laughs> okay, so Volcanion survives the hit, which is very nice. Um, I don't even remember if this had mana fee. Okay, this does have mana fee. This is not Yellow Swellow's list. Um, this is just Lapras, and I took out Lapras, and I added in Articuno, honestly. That's all that this list is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split my resources a little bit. And I feel like keeping this field lower in case he places down... Another Mewtwo Spirit Link, but doesn't evolve, is good enough to where I'm gonna... Um, I mean, I'll probably I'll probably end up um, playing some Pokemon Go. That's the one thing I might play this weekend. <laughs> Pokemon related. But everything else is just no, no cards, no video game, no videos, no streams, no Pokemon allowed. <laughs> no Pokemon allowed. That's the rule for this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Jesus, that's the plan. <laughs> that's probably the plan. Okay, so we see a Cynthia. I hope he plays down. Okay, no. Ooh, he decides to evolve but chooses not to attack. Interesting. I think I heavily disagree with that play. Um. Okay, so my Articuno does 100 damage. I wish I could knock this guy out. Oh, I actually can't. Oh my gosh, I can't knock out anything. <laughs> I actually can't knock out anything. I need to find a choice band. I 100% need to find a choice band here. Shiny Roselia comes out this weekend. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, so... Dalton I don't know should I should I just draw pass I'm gonna draw pass to let him take the KO okay I'll let you fix it I'll draw pass and take the KO okay so I'm gonna pass here as a as a as a polite um as a polite way to help him fix the mistake. Yeah. Um, so please just attach the spirit link. There we go. And then obviously don't play a supporter because you already had. So there we go. It's fixed. Shiny Rosalia comes out this weekend in Pokemon Go. But is it worldwide? Is the Shiny Rosalia coming out worldwide? Or is it just... Um, okay, we already attached energy. If we're keeping up, we didn't have the space. I think I would just... Go find Manaphy, and I would just take the knockout here. Yeah, with Freezing Wind. Um, so... So yeah, are we... Is the Shiny Rosalia coming out everywhere, or is it just in the Pokemon Go event in Germany? Um, oh, you meant the Mewtwo one, I defended. Maybe, maybe it is. <laughs> and thank you, Raya. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, okay, it definitely feels like our, even though we're using non GXs, our attackers are severely underpowered when compared to the the Mega Mewtwo. Um, an end would be very nice here. We've already discarded one of them. Um, Tapu Lele would also be pretty useful as an attacker against the Mewtwo. Um, so we could use Tapu Lele as a cheap way to finish off the Mewtwo after this Articuno gets its hit in. Yeah, he will also use Tapu Lele, which makes sense. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so it's gonna be a war of Tapu Leles at this point. It's gonna be a big war of Tapu Leles. 
Um, Celestial Storm pre-releases events. Uh, so you get you get a like a pre-built deck kind of thing, and then you get packs to make the deck better. Uh, Jesus wept, and then you play some rounds, and then you get some packs at the end, I believe. Um, <laughs> okay, so what's my play here? I think I do attack with Articuno, and I would love to end my opponent here. Well, it's only four prizes, actually. I think I definitely bench this guy. And then, do I just send him here? Maybe. Yeah, you get Celestial Stone packs before August, indeed. And the codes in the packs, they work, but they don't work until PTCGO gets updated with um, Celestial Storm. Yeah? Okay, so we do hit the Elixir, which is nice. <laughs> and then we'll use Freezing Wind. We do have the end follow up for this turn, for the next turn though. So that's good, I guess. Uh, do you think any of their pre releases promos for Celestial Storm will see play? I generally don't know what they are. And I don't know what they do. Yeah, you should, Jesus. It's like, I don't know how long, I don't know how long you've been playing for, but they are pretty fun events. I personally don't go to them. Um, because they're. They're not that great of a money investment, in my opinion, but um, we're looking to just try out the new cards, get them before the date and whatnot. They are a pretty good idea, a pretty good idea to, to go to. And I demanded, I don't know what Delta Team, Electric, or Kyogre does, but um, Celestila actually sounds like a pretty okay, um, like a pretty okay uh, card. I think, I think Celestila, if I remember correctly what it does, I think Celestila would be the playable one. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 energy. So off of this N, off of this N, I need, I need my opponent to not hit an energy, right? Does he have, oh, he doesn't have Psychics in the discard ball, that's good. So he will only have one. So I need him to not find a way to discard energies or something like that. Uh, is there any I want to prove the heal for? Wow, my deck is five cards. What? <laughs> what point did that happen? When did that actually happen? <laughs> okay, so let's just energy drive. Okay, we're down to two prizes. I don't know how we're going to take the next two prizes though. Maybe on the Lele, actually. Maybe that's how. Ooh, the Guzma plus this plus this is actually a pretty nice way to deal a lot of damage to that Lele. Um, yeah, so Celestila so could be very good. Yeah, because it could be like a good, for example, in something like Zoro Garb, where you're playing unit energy, it could be a good tech card, right? Uh, does Soccer Scoop sell codes? No, Tama Drummer, but Tabletop Village does. If you want to check out uh, down below, if you're watching on, on a computer, down below you can click on the Tabletop Village um, button and it'll take you to their site and you can buy um, you can buy codes there. Yeah, you can buy codes there. Okay, so Psychic Infinity deals 10 plus 30 more. Ooh, is he gonna try to buy himself a turn? I am okay with that. If I can pressure, oh no, never mind. This is tough though. This is actually tough. I might have to like hit into a Lele and then hit with Manaphy. <laughs> that might be my play. Lele right now, is, can I take a knockout here? I'm 150 damage away, so one, two, three, four, five. No, I cannot take a knockout here. But if I deal 90 plus 20, that's 110. So then I would have to power up the mana fee. I feel like I need to do that as a surprise. So I'm hoping Dalton isn't listening to me. And the game's gonna go down to this double, um, to this double Guzma play on the Lele. But this turn he whiffed is actually huge. I have exactly two energy. Um, I think I should attach. 
Yeah, I should attach. Because otherwise, if I if I top take the energy, then my uh, elixir doesn't work, and I couldn't do the surprise attack. Yeah. Yeah, so if you wanted to buy um, code cards, I don't know how they stack Tabletop Village, how they stack to um, the other side's prices. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have told me that uh, they're pretty good. They offer very competitive prices and um, you could definitely, uh, they email them, they, they email the code to you within 24 hours, which is very nice. And it would be another way to support um, Table Month. Yeah be another way to support tailbone so it's a win-win for everyone okay so we we actually get the win we're undefeated so far this was a pretty good game Delta. this was a pretty pretty good game and manaphy is gonna do the final ko here gg that was a pretty intense game <laughs> that was a pretty pretty intense game and guys i still have Oceans FPS, he gave me two Tapolelis to give out. I and I still have to to do that. Yeah, I still have to do that. Um, Jonas, yes, you are still on the list. Yeah, you are still on the list. So GG Dalton, thanks so much for the game. Now a guard player. <laughs> Your hand was garbage. Yeah, I was hoping the end would uh, would cause that. So a guard player. Um, you are Snorlax Pro, I believe. If you are, please confirm and send me a challenge or I can send you a challenge and you get to play against this uh, absolutely broken Articuno deck. <laughs> but yeah, Jonas, you are still in the in the list to play against me. Don't worry. Yeah, so Agar player, please. There we go. Perfect. So another Articuno match. The 4-3 line was clunky. <laughs> I mean, the deck makes sense, right? And okay. Okay. So we're gonna get a mulligan. Por cual vas, Kevin? Eh, voy por a card player y hay dos más antes que tú. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, si Aida Bandit o Jonas no quieren jugar, te toca a ti, pero si quieren jugar, será para la próxima, ¿ok? Eh, ok. So we're up against another water deck, interesting, with Palkia. GX, Zero Vanish, shuffle all energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon into your deck. That's a crazy attack. And then Hydro Pressure, 60 plus. This attack does 20 damage. Does 20 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. So this Pokemon basically says, well, I guess Primarina does damage for every energy in play, not just the ones attached to Primarina. Yeah. yeah. Turn one Lily, we do see Mana B, so it's gonna be a duel of the water Pokemon. Si, sí, lo siento Kevin, pero será para la próxima, okay? Next Friday there won't be a stream, guys, because I'm leaving for NAIC probably on Wednesday, so I have time to ship out all of the Tailman GXs and the pending stuff I need to ship out. But, like, uh, probably my Wednesday is gonna be a. Uh, it's probably going to be a day dedicated exclusively to um, ship out cards. <laughs> That's going to be my Wednesday. Um, okay, so my opponent has spread out the energy. I feel like discarding all three Seacomers here would be too harsh. Uh, the first attack, move any number of energy, Hydro Pressure. Okay, so the Hydro Pressure is very scary looking here. I would need a lot here though to, to, get, a K, to get an attack off on, against the Palkia. So it's not looking great. Um, we're not going to be using Articuno just yet. 
I have to be very careful with my resources such as Max Elixir and Aqua Patch because if he uses the GX attack, then I'm gonna be in a situation where I wouldn't want to. Um, I wouldn't be able. I would be have. Bah, I would have a hard time recovering. And that's cool, Jedi. And hello, Titan. Thank you so much for being here. Um, <laughs> that's cool, Jedi. So yeah, this weekend I should be sending an email to everyone or a message to everyone on Patreon um, about the card. Yeah, that's what should be happening this weekend. Um, I should be sending an email to everyone about the card so that you guys tell me exactly how you want it signed, if you want a special message, and if you want it signed in the front or in the back. And okay, so we're gonna trade a tax here. I'm gonna start setting up the Articuno. Uh, should I elixir? I mean, it's not like he's gonna have an easy time uh, shuffling all my energy away as well. So yeah, might as well get ahead. Here and then I think I just take a more here. I'm gonna get a good hit in here, which is nice. Um, I mean, basically it comes down to toolkit count, right? That's the important thing. Uh, no Pokemon. I mean, th that's not Pokemon. That's work, right? I do. I can't stop working. Yeah, I'm just not gonna play any Pokemon. But doing patron stuff, I do need to do that. <laughs> I do need to do that. Are you free to do loot box? What do you mean, Mr. Rayleigh? What do you mean, are you free to do loot box? Um, a full art Tableman GX in the future? That would be super cool, I know, right? Um, I ha it, it has been on my mind, especially because I've had a lot of requests from people asking uh, on if they can purchase the Tableman GX card. And I could have just sold them, but I chose not to. Um, I definitely chose not to sell the Tailman GXs. Um, oh my gosh, what do I even attack here? I might just have to attack with another Lele. Um, okay, we have almost enough. We have almost enough here. Um, a lot of people were asking me like, hey, how much do you want for the Tailman GX? And I had to keep saying no. I had to keep saying no to them um, because I want to keep them. Oh my gosh, my artillery is fine. Um, I had to keep saying no because um, because they're exclusive for Patreon. Um, oh my gosh, this is so bad. Um, however, uh, maybe the full art could be sold and the regular art could be for the patrons. Although I would imagine the full art is more enticing. The thing is the full art would not have texture. Like that would definitely be too much. Okay, we actually got the Articuno powered up. I generally did not think I was going to pull this off. Um, and then energy switch. And Patreon, maybe let's say 20 per month and every month receive a loot box. Um, I mean, that would be amazing, Mr. Rayleigh, but I don't have the time or the resources to buy products, ship out the loot boxes. That's definitely not a service I can offer. Um, I thought you meant uh, if I if I could receive loot boxes. Um, but yeah, that that's definitely not something I can do. Um, make a Tableman loot box, not at this size, right? If Tableman had 200 patrons, then maybe. Yeah, but not, at, not right now. Or if Tableman, the YouTube channel had a hundred thousand subscribers then maybe but at this stage that would be pretty pretty impossible um sell a no normal public supporter and make the fuller a patron only i thought about making like regular cards as well like a regular tableman a regular uh maybe pablo supporter or something um and selling those for cheap of course right for cheap um but yeah I also thought about selling mats, like getting some custom cool art with like Tailmon and a drawn version of myself and with like Nidoqueen and Blaziken and Gardevoir, like all the relevant Pokemon that have won me trophies um, throughout the 15 years of playing like a Nostalgia play mat or something. Maybe that could be interesting. Okay, um, Articuno just gets knocked out here, right? By the Palkia, Hydro Pressure, yeah. Hydro Pressure is just too strong. 
Hydro pressure is just too strong here against us. Um, at least Lele should be able to take a hit. Unless he has another energy and a choice band. Yeah. And Chingo, thanks so much for the follow. And yeah, guys, the Master Ball is exclusive for... <laughs> the Master Ball is exclusive for... Um, subscribers to the channel. Okay, so we're with the Elixir. And so I don't think I want to stick around with this end. So I'm just gonna Energy Drive, threaten them to hit KO. Um, and USP45 Master, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, are you talking about the playmat? Or what are you talking about? Um, I do think the playmat is a cool idea, right? I just, I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, he he used um, this attack. Okay. He used this attack. So I'm going to promote the Articuno. He can have the Articuno. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, the, I, I feel like the playmat would be a good idea. Yeah. Is shipping X from your from your there? What do you mean is shipping X from your there? Shipping is expensive and unreliable when you're in Mexico. Shipping is expensive and unreliable. Which is never good, right? Not when people have this expectation of receiving a product. Um Thank you so much for the bits, USP. Thank you so, so much. Hola, Shingo. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Hasta, saludos hasta Chile. Muchas gracias. Um, okay. So, yes, my Lele will survive, but I don't think we're going to have enough to, um, to pull this one off. Unless... Hmm, no, I don't think so. We we have nothing that can one shot a Jig. Oh, you know what? Articuno can one shot a mana fee. So maybe that's our win condition. Maybe that is our win condition. Getting a choice band energy knockout on the mana fee for my opponent. That could actually be it. That could actually be it. Um, we do have aqua patches, max elixirs, and the choice band, and the, the Kuzma, so. The hard part is the choice band, of course. The hard part is the choice band. Um, and there's a choice band, okay. So I'm not gonna use up the Aqua Patch because the this guy could get taken down. I'm just gonna energy drive, take the knockout, and we actually have a chance to win here. I thought we weren't, but we actually have a chance. And there's the artillery as well. So what's Snorlax Pro going to do here? Okay. I mean, I tried affiliating myself with um, with uh, some Pokemon themed loot boxes um, in the past um, to promote them, but nothing ever came through. Okay, so we have win the we have the win next turn if we don't get end. If we get end, we probably lose. But if we don't, we have a chance. And even if we get end, we still have a very small but possible chance. Hmm. What's gonna happen here? Okay, so we see an energy on the Palkia, yeah, that's good. We're not gonna lose it lately. And we see a Sycamore, we won! We actually won! We're undefeated today with this uh, Pokedex Dex. What is happening? What is actually happening? This is crazy. This is actually crazy to think about. Um, well, let's not... Let's not... Yeah... Uh-oh. Another energy on this Palkia knocks out my Lele. Does he have it? Does he have it? Uh oh. No, he doesn't. Oh my gosh. 
this was oh no <laughs> I I wanted to click the chat and I closed the game <laughs> I wanted to click the chat and I closed the game <laughs> No <laughs> Well we had the win <laughs> I got so excited I was gonna type in the chat this was such a good game and the mouse just went over. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> so, a guard player, GG. I had energy choice and Kuzma to knock out the man heavy. <laughs> oh my. That was so silly. I'm sorry guys, um, I mean, <laughs> GG, um, the evidence is on the video, right, um, but I had, I had the win, that was very close, I wanted to go to the chat over here, do this, type, that was such a good game, that was very close, GG, and then I clicked close the PTCGO, <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> thank you so much for the game, my guard player, sorry it ended that way, um but gg and so i defend it <laughs> i defend it you are up next for the next deck which is Saptos base